Hey, what's up team? This is Eddie Gray. Welcome to Resources for the Modern Creative, where we help you become a better producer. And here we are. I'm going to show you how to use Spiff in five easy steps. Stay tuned to the end of the video so I can tell you when to use this on your signal chain. In other words, should you use it before compression? Should you use it before EQ? Stay tuned for that. Step number one you need to turn on delta and start turning up the depth knob. This is gonna allow us to hear what spiff is reacting to. So let's try this out. We're gonna turn on delta here and start turning up depth. So it's always good to start with an intention. The intention here with this drum loop is to allow the snare to really cut through. So I could take that transient material and really allow it to push through. So you have to make one major decision and that is, am I going to boost or am I going to be cutting? So in this case, we're gonna be boosting the snare. Step number two, adjust sensitivity and decay. All right, let's go. So in a lot of ways, this reminds me of a compressor and how it detects the signals that it is reacting to. And so with sensitivity, it gets sharper and sharper over time and with decay, it, it holds the signal a little bit longer. You don't wanna make the mistake of going too far because then you start treating too much of the audio. Take a listen. Right, so you don't want that. We're just trying to detect certain transient material. So remember, the goal is to try and get the snare to cut through and yet we're hearing a lot of the kick. Step number three, use the side chain EQ filters to remove the frequencies that we do not want to process. So if you have it set like this, you can see there's a lot of low end information and if I get out of Delta, this might be a bit over the top in terms of the low end processing. So what I'm gonna do is get out of this range so I'm hitting the low mids, but not the subs. The aim is to hit the snare, but I also don't mind if I get a little bit of punch from this area. Step number four, adjust sharpness and decay. A couple of things to keep in mind when using sharpness. The lower the setting, the more natural this will sound on percussive material. The higher you set sharpness, the more natural it will sound on harmonic material like a piano or a guitar. All right, and that brings us to step number five, turn off delta and adjust the depth. All right, so this is before spiff and we can also use the bypass button here, which gives us a nice clean bypass.
Of course, we have the proverbial mix knob, which allows us to back off of the processing. We also have a handy trim feature, which is a makeup gain control that allows us to compensate for any loss in volume. Obviously, if you have really pushed this plugin, then you can also back off the overall gain. Let me go ahead and fine tune this a little bit more just by hitting play and auditioning this specific EQ node. All right, and that's gonna take all of the decisions that I've already made and it's going to enhance the signal, check it out. So as promised, let's talk about when to use this on the signal chain. Now, if you're using this when cutting, you are certainly going to want to use this on the last insert. In this case, because I'm boosting, we want to use it early on in the chain, right? Before you start to level off the dynamic range, catch any peaks, and then of course, before you start to saturate the signal. If I didn't do that, the problem would be that the compression saturation would probably feed this a little bit too much on the way out. And so you have to be very aware of how you put these effects chains together because each plugin is affecting the next. Wanted to thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and sub if you appreciate the channel. Thank you guys so much for all the support out there. I know we haven't been uh, recording as many videos, and that's simply because we've just got a lot on our plate, a lot of projects. Um, if you're digging what we're doing, go ahead and hit me in the comments, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Stay up, stay happy, stay focused on what you want. We'll see you later. Get high,